Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand packet switching. The second method of packet switching, which is virtual circuit approach. In our previous video, we have discussed about datagram approach. If you haven't watched that video, please watch that video and come back here. And every video in our channel is going to be part of entire course or a playlist. Our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have better understanding of the concepts. And the link for the playlist is provided in the description below. And in this class, we will understand about virtual circuit approach. And this video is... Uh, uh, this this is this discussion is going to be uh, this is going to be a very big video so as the content is uh, 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 is very big uh, to understand the concept is big to understand so try to focus more on this video virtual circuit approach is also called as connection oriented service whereas the datagram approach is connection less service in this in this packet switching approach before all datagrams all the datagrams in the messages can be sent a virtual connection should be set up to define the path of the datagram so what happens what is this virtual circuit approach is the switching is done the switching means the packet the transfer of the packets is done once the connection is established so once the uh, before transferring the data into the network the connection has to be uh, uh, has to be established and all the packets that are uh, that the sender is sending packets in the sense the message which will get divided into packets a single message will get divided into packets why it will get divided that we will discuss in our later videos so right now the packets that are related to the message that is being transmitted by the sender will be transmitted in a specific circuit that is a virtual circuit that circuit has to be established before transferring the data so the entire process of virtual circuit happens in three phases one is setup phase data transfer phase and the third one is tear down phase so let's try to understand this by using this diagram in this we are having four packets so first the circuit will get established in order to transfer the a is trying to transfer the data to b so for this transfer of data from a to b so uh, the virtual circuit has to be established and that work virtual circuit is based upon the shortest path so how the shortest path is identified that we will try to understand in our later videos so uh, in our previous video we have seen that this is the shortest path and based upon that <coughs> assuming that this is the shortest path so based upon the shortest path a virtual circuit between a and b will get established because a want to transfer the data to b a virtual circuit will get established between a and b after establishing the data, uh, virtual circuit why it is called as virtual means so uh, this may not be possible if if again a wants to communicate from a to b a wants to communicate with b this may not be the circuit that is going to be get created okay that may change as the if the shortest path change th that path may change okay so now <coughs> the circuit will get established and after that the packets will be transferred uh, one after the other so sequentially all the packets will be received at b this is how the virtual circuit uh, uh, approach will work this is the overview so for this for this entire job to be done the three steps are st setup phase, next data transfer and the last one is tear down phase. So let's try to understand the setup phase first. Setup phase means uh, there uh, the connections will get set up and after that uh, uh, within that connection uh, setting up the connection within the setting up the connection two packets are to be transmitted so first the connection has to be set uh, set up and after that the data has to be transmitted and after that that connection has to be tear down okay so first the setup phase in the setup phase what happens is two packets will be transferred one is request packet request packet and the next one is acknowledgement packet acknowledgement so this is just i am writing the short form for acknowledgement acknowledgement packet so these are the two packets that are transmitted first the request packet will be transmitted and after that the acknowledgement packet will be transmitted from b to a okay so let's try what happens in the request packet so this is the this is the forwarding table that is generated at every 
at every routed router so here we are having incoming and outgoing so it, it this is the data that is uh, related to the incoming interface and outgoing interface for example if the data packet has been received uh, through this interface this is incoming inf interface and if the data packet is transmitted through this interface this is what we call it as outgoing interface these are the details of those incoming and outgoing interfaces the the details are port label port label the port through which the data has to be transmitted the packet has to be transmitted those details uh, are the details and the label for every for every data transfer there will be a label okay for every uh, uh, incoming and outgoing interfaces there will be a label that label helps us for the transmission of data from source to destination okay <coughs> now the packet is being transmitted what happens is the incoming port is one and what the router will do is it will uh, it will give a label it will give a label uh, uh, how that label is given is uh, so it is going to have a set of labels and from that whatever the label is free that label will uh, that label will be assigned to the assigned to the uh, uh, that that label will get assigned by this router uh, the request packet is transmitted first the request packet is transmitted and what does that request request packet consists of it consists of source address and destination address just source address and destination address by seeing that request packet what the router will understand that this is request packet so I have to give the uh, label for this incoming so from here it is incoming so it is going to understand that the label has to be assigned for example uh, assume that the label is 12 just uh, randomly I'm taking the number the, uh, the the label is 12 now now the R1 knows that for the transfer as the source address and destination address are transmitted uh, source address and destination address are, is transmitted in this packet so as it is received at the router R1 so this router R1 knows that the the, the port through which from A to B for example source address is A and uh, destination address B for this transfer to happen the uh, the packet has to be transmitted through port 3 so that is that is decided by the uh, uh, decided by the routing algorithm how it happens that we will try to understand later so here the outgoing port should be 3 and this label will not be assigned in the request phase so in the request packet uh, transmission this label will not get assigned in the acknowledgement phase in the acknowledgement packet uh, packet transmission this label will get filled that we will try to understand uh, uh, next immediately after this okay now now through which this this packet will be transmitted here into this uh, r2 again the port is one incoming port and this is outgoing uh, outgoing details incoming details and outgoing details port is one and for example assume that this is uh, uh, given a label of 34 and the outgoing port is 3 and this will not be given okay similarly it has to so this has to be transmitted through uh, uh, through this port so the the source and destination address packet this small packet will be transmitted through this line and it will get received into this r4 again r4 decides that this is a request packet so what i have to do it has to fill these details port one it has come through port one just assume that uh, uh, the label is 42 okay 42 is given and uh, the port is the port through which it has to be transmitted is outgoing port is 3 okay similarly it, it will get received at r2 and the incoming port is 1 okay and uh, label is uh, assume that it is 54 okay 54 and the port is 4 and this label will not get assigned now what happens now the acknowledgement packet will be transmitted by from b to a so what what it will get transmitted what what this b will get transmit so that we will try to understand in the next diagram okay now the request packet has been transmitted for the response of that request packet an acknowledgement packet will be transmitted by b see all these details are the details that we have seen so this is what happened in the uh, previous request packets uh, uh, request packets transmission 
okay all these details of the details okay in response it is transmitting this acknowledgement packet so what it consists of it consists of it consists of source address and also destination address and apart from that it will give a, a, a give the label so the destination is going to decide that some label will be provided by destination and that based upon that label the destination is going to decide that whenever that label is obtained the destination is going to understand that this packet has been obtained from a this packet is obtained from a so for that uh, the label will be given assume that it is 91 so this will be transmitted this is acknowledgement packet acknowledgement packet and uh, this packet will be transmitted back to r2 now what it will what it is going to what it is going to hap here happen here is uh, it is filled with 1991 this is what we have decided so based upon this 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 outgoing label will get decided so uh, whenever the so we'll try to understand in the data transfer phase what happens with this so this label will be stored here and in the outgoing phase what it is going to send is it is going to send the incoming so this label will be transferred back in the same packet with source address and destination address destination address source and destination address the acknowledgement packet is again transmitted back to this r4 and because <coughs> okay so uh, uh, now this 54 will be transferred back and it will get stored in this label part similarly in the transmission it is going to transmit 42 so now the 42 will be transferred back okay uh, will get stored here and similarly again this is going to transfer 34 so this 34 uh, uh, will get stored here and this one is going to transmit back 12 and it will get stored in a okay so now the data transfer the second phase is data transfer here the setup has happened so the establishment of connection the virtual circuit between source and destination has happened in the setup phase so the next phase is data transfer phase so in this phase what happens so here the data will get transmitted the data will get transmitted along with this it is going to send the label so this label by identifying this label through this interface what the router will do what the writer, router will decide from the incoming uh, so this is uh, incoming and this is outgoing so from this incoming interface with the data of 12 and 1 this this interface is 1 and this data this uh, uh, label is 12 so with this what it is going to do is it is going to check the forwarding table and it is going to transmit this data through this packet uh, sorry through this interface with the label 34 so the packet will be transmitted with 34 label and this is data and this is transmitted here and at this r3 what happens is the label will be the label will be so see here through interface 1 if the label is 34 what it has to do it has to transmit the data through uh, interface port 3 and with label 42 and this is data this is data again after receiving here so what the data how the data transfer will happen with one interface one and uh, label 42 uh, interface one and label 42 it has to be transmitted the data has to be transmitted through port 2 and uh, it, it has to be labeled with 54 again receiving here it will transmit the data with uh, label 91 with label 91 and the data will get transmitted by seeing 91 what the destination will understand it will maintain a label the destination will maintain a table and within that it is going to check for this label check for this label uh, 91 so with that what it understands is the data has been received from received from uh, the system a so hope you are getting that point okay it is it, it is uh, it has been transmitted from a so it will accept that data as the connection is already established it is going to accept that 
data this is how the second phase will work data transfer phase the third phase is tear down phase so what happens as the sender completes all the packets all the packets has been transmitted next what it happens is what it will do is it will just send a tear down packet so the tear down packet just by seeing this tear down packet so the router will understand that the work has been done by a the work has been done by a just delete this delete these uh, uh, tables because it is of no use maintaining this data is of no use because the connection uh, there is no use of maintaining this connection this is virtually created right uh, uh, now we have to tear down tear down that virtual circuit so this table will be deleted again it will be transferred to r3 because it has to be transmitted through this port so this will get transmitted to r3 and here it will decide that the work is done so just tear down the details just delete all those details so this is all about virtual circuit approach of packet switching the uh, hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching